All right, in this video, I want to do one more example involving collinearity and distance. And again, the basic idea is two points are collinear if any two links added together is equal to the third link. So uh, if you saw the other video justifying that three points were collinear, it's kind of tedious because we had to find the distance between all three, um, show that the two smaller ones did in fact add up to the longer one, at least in one of the examples I did. This one's actually going to be a little more simple, I think. So we want to find a point that's collinear with the points uh, 2 comma 4 and the point 17 comma negative 11. So if you were given you know a couple answer choices, again you could always go about just doing the distance formula very tedi tediously. Um, it would get you there. I'm just going to make a little observation in this one. So if you think about the point 2, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, we're sitting right there, so there's the point 2, 4. And this new point, we're going all the way out to 17, and then we're going all the way down to negative 11. Okay, so, so those guys are sitting on a line. Um, what I'm going to do to find a point that's collinear, or, or to just produce one here at random, is I'm going to make a little observation. I'm going to talk about um, kind of the steepness of this line, or, or what we can sometimes refer to as the slope. So let's think about what happened. Um, if you think about, um, you know, how many units, if we were, since we were at the x coordinate of 2, we moved over to the x coordinate of 17. So to me, we moved horizontally, we moved 15 units, positive 15 to the right, okay? Because we went from 2 to 17. We went from 4 down to negative 11. So since we went from 4 down to negative 11, we would have to go 4 units down just to get to the uh, x-axis, and then another 11 units down to get down here to negative 11. That would be a total change of actually 15 units again as well. Okay, We went 15 units to the right and 15 units down to get to our new point. To produce another point that would be collinear, we could just you know, preserve that um, that change. So the idea is if I go 15 units again to the right and 15 units down, I'm going to get another point that's going to be sitting exactly on this line and would therefore be collinear. Okay, so hopefully that's not too bad. Since we, we we're at the x-coordinate of 17, if I move 15 units to the right, we would be at the new coordinate. The x-coordinate would be, well, 17 plus 15, which would be 32. And the same thing, if I was at negative 11 and I went down another 15 units, well now I'm going to be sitting down here at the y-coordinate of negative 26. We can take negative 11 and subtract 15 to get a new coordinate. And now I've produced a point that is collinear with the two given points. The point 32 comma negative 26 would definitely be a point that's collinear. Okay, certainly, you know, if you think about it, any point on these lines are collinear, so there's, there's lots of, uh, of points that would work, infinitely many points that would work. But here's one little trick at least to find one other one.